Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from a very, very frigidly cold Menasha, Wisconsin. How's everybody doing tonight? I am going to get logged in here on my iPad so I can see you. Hi Mary and Lee and Bonnie, welcome! And there we go. Oh my gosh, it's getting easier every time, you guys. Now, just about the time I say that, it's going to like throw me for a loop, right? <laughs> so, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I hope that whatever you did today, it was what you wanted to do. Um, we had a fun day. Well, mostly. <laughs> um, this morning, Haley and Val came over for breakfast, and if you saw my post on Facebook, I got this little waffle maker that makes heart valentine, or heart-shaped waffles, and I just used my waffle recipe in there that I've shared with all of you, and um, made these cute little waffles for Valentine's Day. It was so sweet, and of course, she loved them, and her mommy loved them, and uh, yeah, we had waffles and sausages and homemade maple syrup, and um, that was about it. I said, Happy Valentine's Day to Steve, and he said, Happy Valentine's Day to me, and yeah, so I was just downstairs a couple minutes ago, and he said that he bought himself a new golf club today, and I told him, great, and as I was coming up the stairs, he goes, yeah, and I might be getting a new Harley, and I said, do what you gotta do. <laughs> and then I thought, what did I just say? I was a little preoccupied. <laughs> I don't think he's getting a new Harley, but whatever. Hi, Connie. Hi, Jackie from rainy Florida. Okay, so Jackie, is it supposed to be warm next week? That's what I need to know. <laughs> Hi, Lynn from southern New Jersey. I'll bet you it's, it's cold there too, right? I'm thinking that it is. So what's been happening around here? Well, I have some bad news about Anna. Oh my gosh, I got a message from her yesterday morning that she drove herself to the ER. That makes me sad. Um, her husband was gone. It's sturgeon spearing season here in Wisconsin. In our area, they have a sturgeon spearing um, deal going on right now. So her husband was gone and she woke up and just couldn't stand it anymore. And she went to the ER and um, they finally, like, I don't know, took her seriously. I'm not quite sure what's going on with our ER here, but um, the last time she went, they treated her horribly and they sent her home with basically nothing. And they treated her like she was a drug addict and she was just there to get some narcotics. And she kept telling them, I don't know why you're acting like this. Look at my records. I haven't been here in three years. I Test me. I have nothing in my system. And she's never been a drug addict. So, like, but they were really mean to her. This time was a much different experience, but she let it get so bad that she almost couldn't, well, she couldn't stand it anymore because she had a really bad experience last time. So I don't know what's going on at our ER, but they better straighten themselves up because that's not okay. So today, um, she messaged me and I had to go run and get her some stuff from the pharmacy. And Steve took over crockpot lasagna and, um, and some French bread so that they had some food to eat. So, and I kind of made him do that. <laughs> I did. I was pretty, I was pretty firm on it. <laughs> like, you go to the store. He's like, oh, I'm not going to the store again. I'm like, yep, yep, you are. <laughs> And he did. So, and then he's all happy that he did. You know how, yeah. So anyways, we took some food over there for them. And um, yeah, what a crummy Valentine's Day for Anna. But she's going to see neuroscience tomorrow. Um, she's already had two back surgeries. And I'm thinking that they're going to need to, I think Steve said they're going to have to fuse it and put a cage around her something. She's got bulging discs in her back. I know, Cindy, right? So it's like, poor Anna, poor Anna. And ugh, I just cringe because she's so busy with work. She's a real estate agent and she's a very good real estate agent. So she's super busy and she can't do anything like nothing. Yeah. So I'm sure that is like, like a little chihuahua at her heels going, get to work, get to work, get to work. Cause she's a lot like me. Like it's work, 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 work. So, um, anyways, 
prayers for Anna or well wishes or however you choose. Healing hugs, Kathy says. Thank you so much. Um, I know she needs she needs some extra some extra love and some extra hugs right now. Um, what else? Yesterday I had lunch with friends, so this is kind of funny. Um, Twenty five years ago, I used to be on a dart league and. Um, I met for lunch with two of the gals that were on the dart team and we were the consistent ones like we had others here and there but we were the ones that were on the dart league for I don't know how many seasons in a row but um, I met with lunch for I met them for lunch yesterday and I haven't seen one of them in at least 10 years and um, it was really fun we met at 1230 and we didn't leave till 330 <laughs> so I'm glad I'm glad the Mexican restaurant was not busy because we we just, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know that's shocking, right? But it was really nice to see them. And you know, it was on Facebook. Um, that's where we got together because her son, one of them, their, her son got married. And I said, oh, congratulations. You must be so proud. And then we started messaging. And I said, we should get together for lunch. And she's like, yeah, and then you should ask so-and-so too. And so I did. And it was really fun. But I love Facebook for that. My mom has reconnected with a lot of old friends through Facebook too. So um, it's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for the prayers for Anna. I know she'll really appreciate it. And I'll make sure that she knows about it too. Um, so let's see. I had, I know it's, it's kind of shocking to think that I, I'm not any good at darts. I just want to be perfectly clear. I'm horrible. <laughs> Judy says she was in a dart league too terrible the blondettes I love it um yeah I'm a terrible dart thrower I was lucky that I could hit the board and when I first started I couldn't even hit the board but after a while I started getting better at it <laughs> so I could at least not miss the board much <laughs> anywho um I wanted to show you guys the next kit class that I have going on right now I put the information up is with the garden wishes bundle and this is a beautiful bundle. I don't think the pictures in the catalog do it justice. But these dies and these stamps, oh, I am making some really beautiful things with this. So this is my February kit class. It includes the Dandy Garden uh, Memories and More card pack. We're going to be making cards with these. So that's really cool. And also the Dandy Garden Memories and More card bases and envelopes so you get all these card bases in here they're already scored for you you just fold them and then these really cute pre-printed envelopes so I'm going to be designing my class around both of these items plus it includes bumblebee ribbon which is beautiful and matches and then hang on these little ladybugs, can you see them without me dumping them out? The little ladybugs are also included in the kit. Now the kit is, where's my information? $53. If you would like to, oh, and it includes eight cards. You get four different designs. You make two of each, so pre-cut cardstock pack. If you'd like to add on the bundle, that's an additional $59. I'm hoping to have these ship on the 26th of the month, just so you've got kind of have a time frame. But if you would like to order that, you'll find all the details on my blog. And if you look in the right-hand column, there's an um, online classes button. When you click that, it'll take you to where all my online classes are. Then the other thing that I wanted to tell you about was bingo. <laughs> Who played bingo with me? Oh my gosh, we had so much fun at bingo. I thought it was a huge success. Um, everything went really well with online bingo. So we did a card class that included some bingo games. And um, we had some fabulous prizes that went out. Congratulations to the winners. It was really, really fun. And my next bingo is going to be March 24th. It'll be at 7 p.m. It is $30. And I'm going to be using the Sweet Strawberries. Oh, I think I wrote it down here someplace. This, the Sweet Strawberry Bundle, the Floating and Flourishing Bundle, and also the Snail Dip Bundle. And we're going to use the Snail Dip Bundle tonight, too. But those are the bundles I'm going to use for the Make and Takes for the March Bingo. So that's cool. 
And um, let's see, what else is happening here? Oh, did you guys see? Uh, Dina, Barb, and I are going to do a spring virtual retreat. It's going to be completely virtual. It's going to be done here on Facebook in a private group. The retreat is going to be happening all day long on the 27th of March, which is a Saturday. And it's also, you can come back and watch it if, you know, you have plans in the morning. You can't make the morning, but you can come back and watch it. It's going to be available. And it's going to be all videos. Um, you get $100 in Stampin' Up! product in your swag box. Yeah, 100 bucks worth the product for $129. Now, if you're a team member, you can get a $10 discount from me if you belong, if you're on my team. It's only $119. And again, all that information is on my blog. And then I wanted to give you an update on, I wonder what this big question, oh, um, I wanted to give you an update on John. Are you ready for a John update? I'm sure curious minds want to know, right? So, Steve told me today, he's like, hey. I took all the truck to work there. And I'm like, what? What's gone? And he said, I don't know. So, so weird. The stickers for his work. We don't know he quit. Thinking, God, we hope hope tired. That would be nice. Right? I don't know what's going on. There's no, no John's work. I thought that was like, Owned by, but <laughs> no. I'll let you know as soon as you find out. Then I'm Steve. When we get snow, I'll be out together. <laughs> no, it's on the work. Crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, I had to tell you, this big dis for the day was black. They're gray today. Black sweats. <laughs> big, 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 big. Sound is bringing up. It's probably when people hit the heart that happens. We've been finding that. Thank you for, for no. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Linda. Okay, I'm going to. Hang on. I'm going to turn off. I think this, that's not it. I'm going to turn off on the screen if I can. There. Maybe, maybe not. Valentine heard of them. Is, oh, that's. Huh. <laughs> I won't go that any way. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I think I did it. I don't know how, but I see I'm kind of buffering a little bit too. Okay, whoo, that was crazy. But again, while everybody's on here, I want to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Okay, I got the hands out. Let me put this away. I have lots of mail to share with you. I'm excited about that. Um, did I share with you guys all of my celebration swap cards last time? I can't remember. Let me know. Oh, great. Audio is gone every other month. I'm going to close up my laptop. You guys let me know. Kelly, you may have to restart. Huh. Cutting out a lot. Breaking up. Okay, let's give it just a few minutes, you guys. I'm gonna get set up. And if we still keep having problems, we will shut down and start over. Okay, you guys let me know. It's much better, Jay says now. Okay, maybe the little floaty hearts that I had on were causing problems. That's possible. All right, I Who's ready for prizes? Sorry I keep disappearing, but I got all my stuff over there. 
All right. Hi, Juanita and Cynthia. Can you tell us about John again? Cynthia, what did you want to know? That he took all the stickers off of his work truck? Is that what you want to know? Or do you want to know who John is? Let me know. I'll try to pay. I'll try to watch. Okay, so three ways to win. I give prizes away every week on Facebook Live. And um, this is what our winner is going to win for commenting last week. So if you're new to me, make sure you leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. That really helps me. And my lips don't match my words. They don't on my screen either, so I don't know quite what's going on there. But it won't matter in a minute because we're going to turn this down. Still skipping, huh? So did I find my planner, Lisa? Nope. Have not found it. I actually bought a new one. I don't know what to do. Can you hear about John again? What did you want to know about John? Do you want to know the John update? Because John took all the stickers off his work truck. We don't know if he got fired, if he quit his job, or if he retired. We're not sure. But as soon as I find out, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> and no, no, Darlis, Dolly, no, no planner. I did not find my planner. It's the craziest thing. So... Um, winner for commenting last week is Debbie Schaus of Greenfield, Missouri. These are going to be on their way to you. I do have your address, Debbie, so you don't need to worry about giving it to me. I will have these beautiful little embellishments in the mail tomorrow. Or we don't have mail tomorrow, so Tuesday. But I'll have them ready to go in the mail tonight. I've kind of been killing it all day. Well, kind of. Maybe not that much. <laughs> but I did get a lot done. All right, next up, sharing. For sharing the video from last week, I have a roll of the, oh, this is cinnamon cider. Cinnamon cider ribbon. I love this color, you guys. And the, hang on, Stampin' Emboss Painted Texture Embossing Folder. Yep. And the tiny hands. The tiny hands are going with the prizes, with this prize for sharing, because I said, I'll draw until I'm out of tiny hands. And our winner is Janice Carter of Odessa, Missouri. Missouri is in the house tonight. So Janice, Janice Carter, you're getting the tiny hands, the ribbon, and the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. Yay! Okay, congratulations. Next up, guess what? This is highly sought after. This is the Punch Party stamp set. This is only available when you place a $300 order or you have a party that reaches $300. And Sherry Adams of Logan, Utah, you are the winner of this beautiful stamp set. This matches some of our punches. That's why it's called Punch Party. And I know you're going to love it. So, and um, Sherry got this for placing an order. So everybody who orders with me gets put into a drawing. Everybody who shares this video, and you can do that right now, and it really, really, really helps me out. So um, you want to share that. Hey, Wendy, did you get my email? Wendy Morse, check, check your emails. I haven't checked mine all afternoon, but if you did, that's fine. But if you didn't, check your emails when we're done here tonight. Okay. Prizes going out. Let me. I got to keep these in order, you guys. Otherwise, I'll get confused. You know how easy that is, right? I'm going to put these over with their envelopes in the little bin in front of my door. So I have to trip over them to get out of my room. All right. I think we're ready to stamp. Who's ready? Can you guys hear me okay now? I want to know that I'm not breaking up and it's being all stupid again. I just saw myself slide back in. You guys like how fast I'm moving tonight? Yeah, I am on it. I actually had a really kind of insane day. Um, Anna threw me a little bit. Well, Haley asked to come over for breakfast. And I was like, oh my Lord, I am so busy today. And here's why. I almost forgot to tell you guys, I have a blog hop tonight at 9 p.m. It's going live, and it is a fun full blog hop. I might give you a little sneak peek as to what I'm making as soon as I turn my camera around. 
Um, but you'll want to check that out. It's going to be on my blog, www.astampabove.com. It's going live at 9 p.m. Central Time. And so I had to do that today because my lunch lasted way longer than I expected yesterday. I told you that we were there till 3.30. Well, then I had to go shopping a little bit, and I had to get Little Miss Val something for Valentine's Day. And that's where I got the heart-shaped waffle maker. And I got her a book and a little toy, and oh, she loved both of them. And so then I had to stop over at her house and give them to her. <laughs> so I didn't get home till like 6.30. <laughs> so anyways, I worked last night, but I have this blog hop today, and blog hops take hours and hours and hours of time to do all the things. So I finally got that done about, I want to say 5.30 today because Haley and Val came over for breakfast and then I was kind of delayed with that and then I had to go run for Anna and all the things. But I'm like, oh, I got her all done. Okay, are we ready? I think we're ready to flip. Hang tight. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. I don't want anybody throwing up. We're going to flip this baby around and we're going to get ready to stamp and hope that I don't disconnect you. If I disconnect you, just come back in because it has happened before and I'm sure it will happen again. Okay, I think we're ready. Let me get all my cords out of the way. It's like, it's kind of like a little nightmare here with all the cords. Oh, there goes one of my lights. Oh my gosh, a screw just fell out of my light. Well, for Pete's sakes. Today, you guys, I was, um, Oh, now my light won't stay up. That's great. <laughs> I broke it. Steve. Oh, I see where it's broken. Hang on a second. We got some technical difficulties. Things happen, right? Let me see if I can get the screw back in. So today I was re-inking an ink pad. And, and this is just kind of the way my day went. I was re-inking an ink pad and I went to do the spoon on it, you know? <laughs> Lo and behold, okay, I just fixed kind of my lamp. Um, lo and behold, I broke my spoon in half, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, somebody's asking. Lisa, thank you for telling everybody. Um, Somebody's asking, who is Anna? Anna is my stepdaughter. So, sorry about that. For some of you that may be new. Uh, yeah, Francie says it's pretty cold where she is. It's really cold here too, Francie. I'm not going to lie to you. It's frigid. Like, it's below zero. I don't know. Was it 20 below this morning? Um, it wasn't that bad, but I'm just being kind of exaggerating. But, you know, it's like, why do I live in a place where my face hurts when I go outside? <laughs> I want to know. Well, because I was raised here, that's why. So, anywho... We are, I'm dropping things, we're going to be using the Snailed It stamp set and also these cute little dies. And we have like this little square die that looks like a big postage stamp. Let me get these out. I have not played with this much at all, but I did, I was in a virtual swap where I had to make a card with it and it's super fun. So we've got this tiny little envelope that's all scored and it all folds together. It's got little stitching along the edges. And then some images, some mushrooms, and some images to cut out these. We've got the mushroom and the snail and the this snail. And this matches our postage punch. Let me see if I can find it. Yep. This one right here. That'll fit right in there, I'm pretty sure. So we've got some really cute stuff here. And I've got a super easy card to share with you using this one. 10 degrees in Maine, April says. Well, it's much colder than that here. It's below zero. I know that. Um, my brother had 27 below, and he just lives a couple hours north or west of me, not even north. Okay, so let's get our get our game on here. We oh, I forgot my blushing bride. Hang on. I need blushing bride ink. Here it comes. Okay, we've got blushing bride. And I need Memento ink, which is gone. So hang on. I packed it up with the other cards we're going to make. Oh, goodness gracious. What are you guys drinking tonight? I have mm. <laughs> strawberry lemonade. And Claudia Miller, you are so funny. 
Claudia Miller says, at least you have an excuse to be living here because you were born here. I foolishly moved here from South Texas. <laughs> and I'm sorry. And Debbie says it's 77 in Arizona today. I'm very jealous. Why do I live there? Peggy says. Um, because my mom lives here and all of my siblings live here pretty much. Well, I have one in Texas, but the rest live here in Wisconsin too because we're just from Wisconsin and we love the hunting here and there's good fishing here and just all the things. That's why, because it's what we're used to. Okay, Blushing Bride, um, eight and a half by five and a half. So I've just folded that in half and this stamp set has some really cute little elements in it, okay? This heart being one of them. And I'm just going to take this. Let me get this out of the way. I'm going to take this. This is Blushing Bride cardstock. And I am just going to stamp little hearts all over it. And this is going to kind of be, it's not going to kind of be, it is going to be my background. So, and you'll notice that I'm kind of sticking around the outside here. And that's because we're going to cover up most of the middle. So... We don't really need to, you know, have a lot of things going on there. You can put as many or as few on here as you want. And we may need to add some more just to make it balance out. Okay, next up, we have a scrap of Whisper White. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this cute little snail. And by the way, this card layout that I'm doing, you could use for anything. It doesn't have to be a cutesy card. It can be any type of a card, but this is a nice layout. It's quick, it's easy, and it's attractive. So we've got our little snail here. And then, hang on, I'm kind of looking for my bits and pieces. We're going to take our die. Is this the right one? Yep, that's the right one. We're gonna, I'm going to bring in my mini. Oh, i got to find my plates. Hang on. Oh, they're right here. Here comes my little mini machine. And for those of you that aren't familiar with this, this is our um, mini, mini boss, our Stampin' and Boss cutting machine. And it comes with all the plates that you need to be able to use it. That's for embossing folders. It tells you right on here what you need. So you need plate number one. This is plate number one. Plate number two. We're going to put our our die right in here and I'm going to use just a little bit of my tape. Hang on. I've got some repositionable. This is Artist Low Tech Tape. Or you can use washi tape. But you want to make sure you put it on your clothes a couple times so it's not too sticky because otherwise it'll kind of press it into your cardstock and tear it. And I'm going to run this through my machine. This is really nice because you can keep it. Oh, lots of glare from the lights tonight. Um, Deanne, oh no, who was that? That was Ellen is telling me that. Audio is much better, great. But you've got a lot of light glare, huh? Sorry about that. Is it glaring off of like the plates? I'm thinking that's what you're talking about. There's really nothing I could do about that. I'm really sorry. Okay, so. And then I take this and I put it back on my little light right here. And that's where I keep it so that it's handy. Let me put this back in here. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you guys. The designer series paper. Oh, I had a whole, um... oh, here it is. Let me get this out of the way. The designer series paper that comes with the snail mail is so cute. Now it's got the little patterns on one side, okay? And then some bright, colorful patterns on the other side. So one thing I wanted to share with you is this sheet right here. This has the same snail on it that I just stamped and die cut and lost. There he is. She, he, it. And one other thing you can do is you can use the die to cut out one of these snails. So I am going to find one that I like. <laughs> Not that I don't like them all, but I need to find one that will fit. And I am going to use the paper to die cut my little snail guy. 
And here's my die. I love it when our dies do this, but the good thing is, is that we also have the stamps so you can continue to use these even after you run out of the paper, right? Because let's be real, unless you buy a whole ton of it, that's a big possibility. Gosh, I'm not doing, I gotta move this back in front of me, you guys, I can't see because I can't stick my head over the camera to get this on here right. Okay, I think I got it now. Now I can put it back in here so you can see it. It's kind of hard to do things from the side. And here we go. Ah. Yeah, Brenda says the paper is adorable. It is extremely adorable. So you can see that we have a stamp or you can die cut the paper does the same thing. And if you don't like coloring, this is a really nice way to go. Or maybe you do like coloring, but you're going to use up all this paper first. And then you can still stamp the little images with the stamp set and I cut them. But I think what I'm going to do, I was going to show you that I colored my little snail with the Stampin' Blends. I've got... Um, dark flirty flamingo, light flirty flamingo, and I think I'm going to use the light flirty flamingo for the little snail body. Now this looks really almost um, fluorescent when you first use it. Don't let that scare you because once this dries it tones down quite a bit and it just seems to be this color that I was like, what is this? It looks a little scary at first. <laughs> Don't let it freak you out. Oh my gosh. Um, are you on at this time on Sundays? Um, Nancy. Somebody's asking about that. So somebody's asking about Stamp Happy Academy. I almost forgot to tell you guys. Stamp Happy Academy is a new website that Dina, Barb, and I are, are doing together. And all you need to do is go to stamphappyacademy.ning.com. And you will find this website. It's a membership website. And there's special stuff on it we're putting on all the time. Four online classes that you get included with your 1995 membership. Now this Thursday is a Stamp Happy Live. And I am the um, your entertainment <laughs> for the Stamp Happy Live. And what we do in that is we have three different card layouts. So I have created three different card layouts. I'm using So Saffron, by the way, dark. And I make, I I show you three different card ideas with that layout. And then if you would like to participate, you don't have to, but you certainly can, we encourage it. You can also post your projects on the Stamp Happy website with those layouts to show us what you're making with them because we love that. And that is part of the Stamp Happy Live because I'll be live on Thursday at 10 a.m. Central Time on the Stamp Happy website. And it's just a lot of fun. I think you guys would really love it. Okay, so I didn't really do anything fancy with this except color it. And now we're going to take our card base. We're going to take a piece of basic black. And this is 2 and 7 eighths by 4 and 3 eighths. And then I cut some of this fun little red um, designer series paper. This is two and three quarters by four and a quarter. And I'm kind of excited to share this with you guys. Um, this is a brand new ink bottle. <laughs> and that excites me. <laughs> Debbie, if you have any questions about the Stamp Happy Academy, just message me. I'm happy to help you. There's a video that we have that shows you that once you get your membership, um, you can click on the tabs and there's drop downs and that's where all the content is. We had a really fun um, catalog kickoff that is available for Stamp Happy Basic members. I'm gonna use the two and a quarter inch circle punch with a basic white and we're gonna just pop that out of there. Oh, I'm gonna need another one too, hang on. 
just gonna grab another scrap here because I'm gonna need another one of these white circles. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to add it to the bottom of this layer, okay? Let me close that up before I have some disasters. And then I'm going to take the You Snailed It and I'm going to stamp that, I shouldn't have closed this yet, with the black. <laughs> Judith says my snail is looking so cute. Thank you so much, Judith. I love my snail too. <laughs> and now I'm going to punch this out and I want this to be way at the top of my circle, okay? Oops, I need to get out my hearts too. See, I knew I'd be just a little discombobulated tonight because oh my gosh, it was such a crazy day. Like, holy cow. You ever have those days where you're like, what have I done? <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right, then the Snail Mail Twine Combo Pack comes with White and Blushing Bride. And we are going to take this Blushing Bride and we're gonna wrap it around this layer. Now I'm gonna leave a little bit here so I have room to tie a knot. One, two, three, maybe four times. That's gonna look good. And I'm just gonna cut that off. And I'm gonna tie this in a knot. And I always love wrapped twine. I just think it's kind of a neat look. You can tie it in the middle, you can tie it over to the side like I am, however you choose, but I kind of liked it a little bit off center here. And then I'm gonna trim this and trim this. We're gonna pop this guy up on some dimensionals. Let me see, I just got out a brand new, here we go, a brand new flat of dimensionals. So I've got new glue tonight, I've got new dimensionals. Oh my goodness. What's next? Yeah. Here we go. There's our cute little snail. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this right over here on the side, okay? So I'm gonna add just a little bit of glue to the bottom here and then figure out where I want this. I want it just that half circle sticking out there. I think it's gonna, isn't that, just a cool layout. Like I said, you could do this with all kinds of different stuff. Different stamp sets, different paper. It's gonna be really cute no matter what. And then I'm gonna take this and put it way over here. So I've got it centered from top to bottom and then I'm just making sure that this layer is straight here. Let's get it straighter. <laughs> Judith says she loves new dimensionals and glue. I do too, right? It's almost like a brand new Versamark pad. Okay. Next up, um, we've got a piece of Whisper White here. And I couldn't decide, you guys, if I wanted to put some of the designer paper down here, that would be really cute. Or if I wanted to stamp the mushrooms. And I think I'm going with the mushrooms. So I think I'm gonna stamp my little mushrooms right down here. And I have no idea what color I should be making my mushrooms. So let me grab some colors. And I think I will grab some granny apple green and maybe some crumb cake. And what else do we have here? Maybe some bronze. How's that sound? Do those sound like good colors? Okay. So I'm gonna go with the bronze blend and I am going to color in my little circles. And of course, if you don't like to color or coloring isn't your thing or you're in a hurry, you can definitely just use the little strip of designer paper. You don't have to stamp mushrooms and color it, but I thought these were so cute, right? There's also a die that cuts these out, so that's fun. And I'm not really sure what I should do here. <laughs> Usually I go look in the catalog and see what colors that, that Stampin' Up! used. But I didn't do that this time, we're gonna wing it. So I was supposed to have a phone call on Thursday with Stampin' Up! to talk to them about my million dollar stamp set, you guys. So this is getting really real, right? And for those of you that may be new, 
I hit my million dollars in career to date sales back in August. And um, most people that are on here were along for that ride. It was really super exciting and I loved all the cheering on. But um, I haven't done anything with my million dollar stamp set yet because when we hit a million dollars in sales, we get to create our own stamp set. So I was supposed to have my call on Thursday, but I had to switch it to Monday because I had to go to lunch with my mother-in-law for her birthday. And that was much more important. Like you gotta keep your priorities straight, right? So I did. And um, what colors should I make the little stems? What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna go, <laughs> I think I'm going with pink. How crazy am I? I'm gonna go with pink. And that's gonna be nutty. But anyways, um, so then I scheduled it for Monday. And guess what? Monday, Stampin' Up! is closed. So so she messaged me again and said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. We're going to have to reschedule. So they wanted to reschedule it. So I don't even know what, but it's not going to work. So I don't know when I'm going to get my phone call. But at some point, I will. <laughs> I just don't know. Okay, next up, we are going to put this on the inside of our card. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? That's kind of crazy, right, with the pink bottoms? I don't know. But I don't think anybody's going to complain about it, do you? If they do, I'll never send them a card again. <laughs> I mean like that. <laughs> there we go. Now, um, one thing I didn't want to forget, I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool and these cute little resin heart embellishments. They come, or they're part of this whole suite, and I am just going to put this little heart down here for the eye, the dot on the eye. Isn't that cute? Super sweet. And then what else? Where's my, I thought I grabbed an envelope, but I obviously, maybe I thought that in my mind, but in the real world, it didn't actually happen. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I thought I'd bring out for you to make on here. And I know it's kind of a funny combination of colors, but those are some of the colors that are in this designer series paper that I, I just think go together well. It's just fun. So I am going to take my Bermuda Bay and we've got this cute little stamp here that says, you've got mail. And I thought that would be super cute on the front of our envelope and so there we have our cute little snail mail and I'm looking for my stamp cleaner here it is what do you guys think of that you like the mushroom the mushroom colors are cute thanks Judy thank you oh and April says she wants me to do something with babies for my stamp yeah I'm really kind of pretty undecided um, you know some people just really know what and I don't. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay. The other thing I was going to share with you guys too. Another scrapbook. Here, I just dug this one right out of the trash. Trash dumpster diving is this one. This is another really cute for the outside of your envelope. Happy mail enclosed. I think that's really sweet. And then, like I said, our postage stamp punch punches that out if you're going to put it in your card. Fun! Oh, Karen. Thank you, Karen Mackey. It's your first time watching. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, then I wanted to share with you guys. So we've got this card that I just made, right? I'm going to put this away because I'll use that for something else. Hang on, let me get all these out of here. And then this is the exact same card, but with different colors. And where did that little piece of paper go? Right here. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I didn't put a white layer inside here yet, so I'm going to put this inside for my white layer. This is a three-quarter inch strip of designer series paper. And here we go. Isn't that just cute? I love this paper. It's very, like, whimsical. So, two cards, same layout. 
And again, this layout would work for just about, I don't know, any kind of card. It's pretty fun. And don't forget, you can also just die cut the designer paper. Yeah, pretty cool. Next up, let me set these aside. Put these away. So for supper tonight, I don't know, I think it was on bingo um, last, was it last week that, yeah, it had to have been last week, that Steve brought in um, shrimp scampi. He brought me in a plate of shrimp scampi. He forgot that I was having bingo. And he comes walking in with this gorgeous plate of shrimp scampi. Well, I've been eating that on and off all week because he always makes a lot. And um, I actually ate all the shrimps up yesterday. And so today I just had the shrimp scampi noodles and they are delightful. <laughs> I told him too, I said, don't throw these noodles out because I will eat them. I love them. Okay, next up. Now you guys requested this. So I got a card in the mail from Deb Snyder. It was a swap card. I, I do swapping with Deb. So I got a card in the mail from her and I decided to recreate it using some different colors, different papers. So I'm going to bring in the Fine Art Floral. This is a beautiful set of paper. Absolutely love it. I do have a kit that went out last week or the week before. I have some left. The kit is $55. All the information is on my blog, but it includes this paper and um, the fine art ribbon, the gold glitter enamel dots, the painted texture embossing folder, which is the one I gave away tonight. So it includes all this stuff, you guys, for $55 plus eight cards. I think you'll love it. I am going to pull in, oh, this is the ribbon that it includes. This is the fine art ribbon. It's got that gold fleck in it. It's just so, so pretty. Okay, here comes our card. Let me put this away so I don't lose it. Here's my little cheat sheet. And here we go. All right. Fine Art Gallery stamp set. I'm going to be using a couple little elements out of here and then the Heal Your Heart. This is free with your $50 order, this whole stamp set. And it's a really nice stamp set with a thank you and, you know, some sympathy here and just some encouragement. We're in this together. I don't know what I'd do without you. And I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. Mm. I just love that saying. It's just appropriate for so many things, right? So here comes our first card. This is a little pocket card. And I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers. This is basic white. This is a four and a quarter by five and a half. And then we've got the Fine Art Floral Designer Series paper. This is four by five and a quarter. And by the way, um, you're going to find all these dimensions on my blog. Elizabeth is asking, Kelly, do you store the paper display sheet in with the paper? If so, how do you store six by six? That's a really good question. So um, I do not put my sheets in with my pack of paper when, they're, when I'm using them as much as I am now. I put them in a drawer right behind me because I am referencing them like daily. So I want them to be very handy. But once I'm not using this paper, you know, when we get another catalog, then I will put the sheets in with the 12 by 12. The six by six, I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Um, that's a great question. Like, what are you gonna do with that? I don't know. Does anybody have any good ideas? Cause I do not. But you could make up something that is smaller or you could make two um, little sheets up and make them smaller so you can put everything on them. I'm just adding a little bit of more glue here because it didn't seem to stick good on the edges. Now, I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. This is a fun fold. And we all fell in love with it last week. I know you're gonna love this. Now what we have here is two squares, okay? So this is three and a half by three and a half basic white and this is the designer series paper that is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And we're gonna take both of these 
Now, if you want to, you could glue them together and do this. I just wasn't that smart. <laughs> but I should have done that, but I didn't. And here comes the other one. And all I'm doing is putting my points in the channel so that I can cut these at a perfect diagonal. That's what I'm doing here. Okay. One of these I'm going to put back in my pack because I only need one for my card. Or if I made two cards, I've got two here. So that's kind of nice. I'm going to add here this. And of course, it's hard to pick which side do you want of the paper to stick out, right? But I'm going to use the softer side here. And because we cut one at three and a half and one at three and a quarter square, you get this nice little border just like you would on your card fronts, right? Now, I'm going to take this and, oh, I have to tell you before I forget, um, Mary Stroman, who also watches me, she sent me written instructions for this, which is just magnificent. Okay, so I just put glue along the outside edge here, and I'm going to push this all the way up against the edge. Okay, so now what we've done is we've created a little pocket right here. Then we're going to take another piece of our designer series paper, and this is three by eight, and we are going to fold it in half. And again, this is the fine art floral paper. And then I've got a back for this of mossy meadow that's three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And you gotta decide which side do you want on the front of your card. I think I want this side on the front of my card, so I'm gonna glue this side to my little base here. And it leaves you that nice little margin. Then we've got a white piece, and this white piece is two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then I had to take a drink. Now we're going to do just a touch of stamping on here. So I'm going to grab my flirty flamingo, and I've got this fun little stamp, this little flower stamp right here, and then this one goes in the center, or at least that's what I do with it. A lot of these stamps are open to your interpretation. But that's my interpretation. <laughs> so you may find something different to do with it. But this is what I do. And this is Poppy Parade, which seems like the weirdest color combination. But look at how pretty it looks together. I would have never, ever put this together, except it is the coordinating colors, Poppy and Flirty Flamingo, in this pack of cards designer paper. So isn't that just, I don't know. I'm like, really? Those two colors together? Yep. They go good and I would have never done that so that's why I love Stampin' Up's artists um, oh you're absolutely right Linda said you would not have a nice little border if you had glued them together first you're right because the center part wouldn't have that white edge thank you for telling me that that's why that's probably why I didn't do that I didn't even think of it but yeah, good point. So you do want to cut those at a diagonal separately. Thank you. That, that's awesome. So here comes this little piece, and it's just a quarter inch smaller. It goes right on the inside, and isn't that just kind of precious? Yeah. Then I'm going to take this beautiful ribbon, and again, it's all part of this fine art floral suite. You get this in the kit if you happen to order it from me with the paper. And now you have another idea for it. So that's so why I always like to share lots of ideas. Not only do you get all the ideas that are in the kit, there's video tutorials and a written tutorial with pictures. You get all the dimensions so that, you know, if you use up your kit and make all those cards, you can make more with your own supplies. And you have tons of designer paper left over after you've made the cards up that are in the kit too. So just so you know that. And lots of ribbon. So here goes this beautiful ribbon. And I think I'm gonna get my gold glitter dots out too. So just, let me see if I can find them. Oh, you know what, are they part of this? Oh no, but I did put them in with the kit. So let me see if I can find them. Here they are. This kind of goes with the ribbon. 
Well, it does it kind of. It does go with the ribbon. Oh, I forgot to do one thing here, you guys. I've got the wish I could heal your heart. So I don't know if I told you guys this, but my mom messaged me on Facebook the other day. Boy, she's quite the little technical tycoon, isn't she? <laughs> but she messaged me on Facebook the other day, and she said she was getting out a birthday card for Jared because it's his birthday on Thursday. Yay, Jared! And we're going out to eat at a supper club. Oh, love it. The Red Ox. My favorite. Anyways, she messaged me and said she was getting out um, a birthday card for Jared. And she needs more birthday cards. And she needs more sympathy cards. So, of course, I am all, all. So, I am making these cards for her. And you guys know that I made her a whole bunch of cards recently. Um, that were sympathy cards and birthday cards. So, oh. Next time I see her, she's getting a whole pack. Are you guys ready for this? Here we go. This is our little pocket card. So you open it up. You can write a message in here. You tuck it right in here. You can also write on the back if you want. You could decorate the back so that it's a place to write too. But this is the little pocket card. And if you guys remember, this is the card... I think I might have showed this to you last week. I don't remember. But I got some in the mail this week, too. Because several people shared with me the dimensions and how to make these, which I love, you guys. Because I'm like, oh, I need to make that, right? So you guys helped spur me on. But this is the card that I got in a swap. This uses that strawberry berry paper, berry blessings paper. But isn't this pretty? And it used the Oso oh Ombre that's what this designer paper is here. So that's where I got this idea from. And isn't this just, it's so easy, but it's so, so pretty. So you guys know that I like to make multiples of things with different colors, different whatever. So of course I had to do that. Are you ready for it? Let me get out the next one, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Well, then I had to use the blue paper. So here comes the blue paper, and I'm just going to quickly whip this baby up, and here we go. So this is going to be our little card insert. Oh, Andy says she's in love with this card. Denise, thank you. Marjean, thank you so much. So I think this, oh, I don't know. Do I want this to be the front or this to be the front? I think I'll, I don't know. Let's get this put together first. Okay, so... Again, five and a quarter, or I mean, four and a quarter by five and a half. This is just a quarter sheet of cardstock. And then this is four by five and a quarter, which would be like your front layer. And then we have three and a quarter by three and a quarter, three and a half by three and a half. And I'm going to bring in my paper cutter again. And again, for those of you that make, have come on late, I do share all of these dimensions on my blog with still photos and there's even a shopping list where you can go and find out the different ink colors that I used on this card and what was the name of that stamp set? You can go to my shopping list and see, oh yeah, it's called Fine Art Floral and you can click on it, it'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. I like to make things easy for you to shop because your shopping keeps me in business and helps me pay my bills and I so appreciate it. So we're going to take this, and again, you only need one of these to make your card, so you could definitely make two cards. And I will probably do that so I can make my mom just another one exactly like this to go in her little pack of cards I'm making. Okay, now, you should really stamp on this before you put it on your card, because if you mess it up, you've got room to, like, you know, get a different piece. If you glue it on and then mess it up, you've kind of screwed things up, right? <laughs> oh, I hate it when that happens. And again, another great sympathy card. Now I'm going to do the same thing to this one, only I'm going to use Pretty Peacock. <laughs> Donna says she's making these tomorrow. I think you should. Everybody should make one tomorrow. <laughs> and we're going to use the lighter Pool Party. I'm going to stamp that right down here. And then with the smaller image, I'm coming in with the pretty peacock. And I'm going to stamp that right there. And isn't that just pretty? It is. Pretty peacock is pretty. Okay, next up. Hang on. 
Oh, I know. I needed some envelopes. Hang on. That's what I... I knew I, there was a reason why I put some more ink pads in here. We'll do the envelopes in just a second. Let's um, squirrel. Stick with our... <laughs> we got to stick with what we're doing here. Okay. This is Pretty Peacock. This is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And again, I have to decide what color do I want on the front. Oh gosh, I don't know. They're both pretty. I think I'll put this one on the back. This is our three by eight folded in half of designer paper. And ah, thank you guys so much. How about making one tonight? Linda, are you talking about you're going to make one of these? I think you should. I think that everybody should stay up super late cards <laughs> that's when I do my best work it's funny I had one of my team members my friend Kathy Miller was over this week and she was helping me and um, <clears throat> she said late afternoon is not good for her she does her best designing in the morning and I actually do my best work after six o'clock at night because I am such a night owl and sometimes I actually do my best work after nine at night. I know that's kind of a little scary, isn't it? Yeah. Uh oh. So do I. That's I can't tell people that. Oh. <laughs> Steve just came in. He heard me saying that I do my best work after nine o'clock, and he came in like you know, like all suave and said, "So do I." <laughs> this is a family program. <laughs> quite the character okay here we go oh my gosh is that not just so so pretty right all right we're ready to put our little pocket on and here we go make sure very thin on the outside edge here I'm just gonna pop that right down in here these are just so, so pretty. <laughs> are you guys laughing? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, my Lord. If I could tell you all the things he says, you would probably... Oh, he's pretty funny. Look at how pretty it is. <gasps> I just have to take it out and look at it again. I love this, right? This paper is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so here's our two pocket cards yeah okay and I need to do this let's I couldn't almost get it off of there I love that these come in big teeny medium these are the gold glitter enamel dots and they have been highly popular mm, mm, mm. how about right there isn't that pretty and they're very low profile too, so they're not going to cause too much bumps and lumps. I'll keep these and make some more cards for my mama. And did you guys... Oh, I know. I still need to do my envelopes. Don't let me get away without those envelopes. It's Valentine's Day. Steve wants some attention. <laughs> he should go pet the cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, did I just say that? <laughs> I did. <laughs> His cats give him lots of attention. <laughs> okay, so I've got pool party here. I'm going to bring this image, and this is from the Finer Business This is a family program. I'm going to come here with this. Oh, look how pretty that is. Where did my card go? Mm. Yeah. Very, very pretty. Now, what are we going to do with this one? I think I like the flirty flamingo with this one, right? Donna says, stunning, easy peasy, and quick. Wants to try this with the stamp set, lots of hearts. Oh, that's going to be really pretty. I was thinking about putting this out there as a challenge to see what you guys can make with this layout. Here comes my other envelope and flirty flamingo. There we go. Mm. D, light fall. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, let me get all this stuff out of the way because I got more stuff to show you. Woohoo! Is 
there anybody else on here tonight that has never been on for a Facebook Live? I always like to know when I have new people. And make sure you give me a thumbs up, you guys. Give me that thumbs up. That helps me out with the analytics on Facebook. Like, when you guys are doing the hearts and the thumbs up, the more you do of that, the more Facebook recommends my videos. in there and that is awesome because if you guys I get put in there and Facebook recommends to watch me of all different people like everyone so it's it's like oh my gosh I feel like a movie star These are the cards that we made tonight. Snail mail, super, super cute. Awesome designer series paper. Then we've got fine, whoops, this is the strawberries. We've got the fine floral. So that changes periodically, but it's always in the right hand column of my blog. You'll always find it, the current code there. If the code happens to not work sometime when you're trying to put an order in, just skip it. I can go back in and fix it later, and I don't want you to be wasting a bunch of time or getting frustrated. Now, did you guys want to see a sneak peek for what's coming tonight on my blog hop? Huh? 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 <gasps> okay. Here I come. This card was made by my team member, Patty Skiba. It is... A bridge panel card is what we've named it. Look at that. So, this is made with the strawberry, the berry blessings paper, and the sweet strawberry stamp set. You get this paper with your $100 order, and it comes with a stamp set. There's also another bundle in the catalog called Sweet Strawberry that is a stamp set and a matching punch that coordinates with this. But isn't this fun? So, my blog hop tonight that goes goes live, what time is it? It must be like, let's see, what does it say? Oh, it doesn't tell me on here. Um, oh, I got a clock over there. It goes live in an hour at 9 o'clock Central Time. That is going to use the Darling Donkeys in the Oso oh Ombre paper. So, you guys have to go check that out with this fun fold. You're going to love them. If I do say so myself, they are stinking adorable. I was so like giddy with how they turned out. They're just adorable. So nine o'clock tonight, blog hop on my blog. Blog address is right here. And don't forget the spring virtual retreat is $129. It includes $100 of Stampin' Up! product, 12 cards in a make and take, there are four different bundles that we are using, and they are all listed on my blog. You can find all that information, again, on my blog. If you would like to join that virtual retreat, you do not have to be available on the 27th of March, but we will be loading up a Facebook group all day long with videos and all kinds of fun. We're going to play a bingo. There's just going to be tons of fun with this virtual retreat. Everybody can do it because you do it from your own house. You don't have to go any place. You don't have to fly any place. It's just going to be a lot of fun. And it includes a ton of product. So um, next up, we've got mail. And, oh, hang on. My crown just fell in my eyes. <laughs> I always love it when that happens. Okay, here comes mail. So this is the card that I was supposed to read to you guys with my loot last week. This was from Connie Paisecki. Remember this beautiful bag and all of these holy cow Sakely's candy bars and my favorites, the um, Donkers sea salt caramels. Yeah, I already ate one of these. I need to get on that because I'm gonna keep this out because I need, I, I, when I put it away, then I don't eat it, <laughs> which is great for dieting, right? I'm going to diet when I get back from my trip. Did I tell you guys that I'm going on a trip? Okay, so this is from Connie, and this uses the bouquet, the corner bouquet stamp set that's free with the $50 order. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? 
yeah, that came with that bag and I, and I, it was stuck in the bag. I forgot about it. All right. Next up. Thank you, Connie, by the way, because, oh my gosh, who doesn't love these things, right? Good Lord. Okay. Next up. <laughs> oh, look at, here we go. This came from Kathy Sheldon. She is one of my local ladies. And she made me samples of this corner card that I just shared with you tonight. And then this is one of the cards. And this, look at hers, tucks in here. Is This is a little smaller. It tucks in under there. And how sweet is that with the little pocket and an Easter card. So, Kathy, yes, sent me samples. Thank you so much. You are so sweet. You guys are so kind and generous. I love that. I'm going to put that like that because I don't want to share everybody's addresses. Oh, and here is, this is from Mickey Banky. She did the same thing. Look at, she made me one and sent it with a little note in it. You guys, this is, oh, let me look. Um, thanks for the card kit. I will use uh, when I'm done and da -da 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 all the winners and the video. Aw, thank you very much, Mickey. That's so sweet. But there's another one. Then, uh, look at Happy Mail. There it is, right there. I got this from, I think this is from Sandy Young. Yep, Sandy Young. This is the snail, right? Snail mail, how cute is this? And she used the ombre, and then she put it through the painted textured embossing folder. And this is that little envelope I was telling you guys about. And then it has a little card. This is all part of the die set. All of this is. And she used googly eyes. So who doesn't love some googly eyes? How pretty is this? Absolutely gorgeous. And Sandy said, just a note to say thank you for all you do to keep us inspired. I love your lives and always learn something. Um, I love your shares with family and beautiful baby Val. She's getting so big. Are you kidding me? She is getting so big. Oh my gosh. And I just, I just adore her. Like I, I think she's got me wrapped right around her finger. Yeah. <laughs> this one is coming from Judy Brown. Judy sent me this pretty Valentine card. I love the way she embossed half of it like this. Very, very pretty. And it looks like she used a sponge dauber around the edge of the heart to put that color on it. And that is very creative. Thank you so much, Judy. Next up. Oh, this is from, uh, this is from my niece, Jasmine. And she says, thanks for making our Christmas so special this year. We love you. Oh, Auntie Kelly. This is from Tommy and Jasmine and my sister, Becky. So you are very welcome. Then I got this card. Oh, look how pretty this is. This is beautiful. And this one is from Kathy, I'm pretty sure. Yep, because she sent me an order too. This is from Kathy Sheldon. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? I love it. Very, very pretty with her order, which I already put in. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, um... Oh, here comes another card. Oh, here's another thank you card, just like the last one. It's from my niece, Emma. I'm her godmother. She says, Dear Aunt Kelly and Uncle Steve, I wanted to thank you for the Christmas presents you got me. I liked how they were wrapped and addressed. Oh, my husband. I, I don't think I told you guys this. So he did almost all the